Amanda Harcourt, uh, and a slippery attorney for the Beatles, who very Putin esque that she lost to your face and then backstabs you. Um, an out and round woman, so to speak, like they are, Trumpy Turn and Putin. Mongered this idea that Penis Gabriel and Robert Fripp were interested in my poetry and whereabouts. And I just tried knowing that I had some pretty serious defective manners when it came to the British aristocracy. I just wanted to blend into the background, you know. So like if you don't mind my sitting here and taking this in, I would appreciate it. So I didn't do anything wrong. She was a uh, partner of Miles Kirshner before I introduced them, which gives you an idea of what Israel and England were authoring in Highland Park of Pittsburgh with the Wattenmakers, um, and what kind of position they wanted me in as they gloated at the puppet dance of Jimmy Creary. Mongering by Harcourt took basically two dimensions. One was that the idea that I could have saved John Lennon, and the other that John Lennon really died. They didn't say anything at all favorable towards a deaf child who was attacked by a huge gang of armed men. Um, they look for all sorts of fancy ways of outgunning my comments. Like, for example, when I mentioned the two black kids, thank you, by the way, saved my life from a gang. I mean, you, you might not think it was my life. Maybe I'm exaggerating. The kid who was kicking me in the head was wearing tennis shoes after all. Um, who, who rescued me from a severe beating which was ongoing and hadn't stopped, were a couple of black kids who were like Ukrainians chasing off the Russian army in some ways. I and mean, it was valorous. And they were like, oh, don't try to subvert the dominant paranoia. We know you're a closet racist. And of course, these were, you know, parochial British slime from royalism on high. Needless to say, they had a token yammering in Senegalese because they couldn't come right out and lie to your face in front of everybody. But what another thing they never, they never credited was the fact that as a Pittsburgh public school s student, I was immune to being cast in a weird Hollywood script by devils. I never credited any of that. Instead of looking at the fact that although I liked King Crimson better than John Lennon, I looked up to Lennon. Instead of looking honestly at psychological arrangements, they said I was guilty of could have saved him because I was imitating him. In other words, because he encouraged people to use drugs. I, therefore, wanted to be tortured and poisoned and gassed. And therefore, I'm to blame. Um, and in fact, they went so far as to say he saved my life. So you get like a whole contraption with this crow hag, Reducer Garano. I mean, it's really something that's it's and it's anointed so special that the Trumpy Toon Putinese military entertainment system called the news refuses to address it. Ain't that cluck esteem? Oh yeah, that's cluck, cluck, cluck. And what's more, it's it's cluck, cluck, cluck as equal opportunity employer as Exxon. Isn't that something? Coup blockery will sweep down on you. I have nothing against black people. Don't twist my words. I said the coup blackists who are loyal to the uh, pornographic tennis side, who were licky chops and selling flim flam for cash. You know, I don't hate nobody who's uh, alleged 
innocent people get alligated. But these people cryptically souvenired themselves of stripping me of my rights in public. They said, judge and jury in our head. They said, wear your inside out. And they had it all set up, pulling at the papers and drawers that slide smooth. Like they didn't know those letters were there. They didn't have to look. They found them, they said. And I was sacred uh, pawn heart because I hitchhiked to Beatlemania in 1979 trying to get some sniff sniff of the good Ayn Rand virgin. This was all hyped in advance by predators on high who tortured somebody who was a child and then loaded the dice with anything they wanted to say. And then behold, Spangali from on high, Trumpy tune. If you ain't got a good laugh out of that Trump, he's still your bud. You can go there. Ain't you, you something? You can go there with Spike Old Lee. Ain't you some chumpy tune? Ain't you some?